Hello and welcome to Tabletop 24 and welcome to another unboxing. Today we have Expeditions, the Ironclad Edition from Stonemaier Games. First up, obviously to note, this is the sequel to Scythe, even says it's on the box. Second up, as you will see there, it's a rather large box. Um, so yeah, this could be interesting to get onto the shelves, but let's get a look and see what is in here. So. Like I say, sizable box. Um, quite looking forward to this one. Obviously, it's been on pre-order for a little while. I think everybody's just starting to get their copies now. Okay. So, we've got the Captain's Journal, which has also got the achievement sheet on the back, um, which is quite nice. Our Automa rule book. Um, having read through it, it's fairly simple to find. Um, Apollo, so be looking forward to getting that same one on solo. Um, I'm oh, sorry, no, that was the main rules. These are the Automa. The Automa rules, fairly simple. We're going to be using these cards. Um, if you played any of the Automa factory stuff before, I think it's going to be fairly straightforward for you. Okay, then we've got this packer punch. We've got our base camp board, which we're going to be trying to track our glory along the bottom. And um, we've got all of these tiles with some coins and some uh, map tokens. All the iconography probably looking fairly familiar to everybody um, if you've played Scythe. Next up, we've got the box itself. And I'll try and not ruin it, though. So we've got these riser pads, I think. Um, riser stickers, which we're going to go potentially on our um, on our met boards, just to give them a raise, because we're going to be tucking some cards underneath this uh, as part of the gameplay. So that'll just give us a little bit of a raise above the board. Um, so yeah, we've got that. Then we've got our met boards, with our tracks, and our locations for everything. Right there. A nice token tray, some room for some cards underneath. Um, there. We've got our, our so we've got another couple of holes in the bottom of these ones. Um, and then we've got our corruption bag, which we're going to be using to put our corruption tokens in once we've punched them. Our silicon bases that are going to go on our max. We'll get to those shortly. Um, and we have got bags and bags of tokens. I think they're mostly going to be our player tokens um, for setup and whatnot. So, uh, so these are our workers. So these are our purple workers. I can't remember what they were, what they were called. Um, but each worker colour isn't actually your own worker. Like you might have had in um, previous in, well, in, in Scythe. Um, like the red isn't for us to get, they're just, they're just like labourers. Um, so each of them have got their own sort of ability. That will be triggering some of the cards that we'll be seeing. So we've got some more meeples, some more meeples. I think so. All meeples and some play cubes, so each for one of three to the player colours. And then we've got some other glory tokens, which again you might find familiar if you played Scythe. And that's gonna go in there. So they are just stars, and the stars for each player colour. Um the first one to place four is gonna be winning the uh, or ending the game. As we know with Scythe, it's not always winning. Um, that counts on this. So as this is the Ironclad edition, I think the next couple ones are gonna be upgrades, um, but I could be wrong. Um, so we've got our, essentially our power and our, I can't remember what the keyword is for it, but um, intrigue sort of um, representing sort of power, um, military might and cunning um, that we're gonna be using on our tracks and our 20 point corruption token, which will, which is one of the glory tokens that you can get 
uh, or I should say you can do one of the move um, to get a game token. Um, then we've just got our normal corruption. Um, Quite nice. I think, like I said, I think the beanie's wooden. I think these are part of the upgraded edition. Um, and, uh, not really the same, but in the orange. Um, and we'll be spending the relevant power or cunning. Let's find out what that keyword is um, to be removing those. Okay. We've got some cards. These are going to be the main part of the game. Um, you will start with a character and a companion, and you may recognize some of those from the, the Cypher universe. You will. Um, but you also pick up things like items, uh, these are many old items here. Uh, we'll pick up meteorite shards. So, the theme behind the game is that a meteorite has crash landed. Um, in, in Siberia, and we're all off to try and form an expedition to main, get as much of the meteorite as we can. And people in the area have become corrupted, hence the corruption tokens, um, and sort of turned a little bit. And we've got quests. Quests are going to be our main way of getting what would have been po uh, popularity, but um, it essentially is, a, is one of the end game ways to get glory. Um, and for the most part, we will be getting a benefit at the top, potentially placing a worker, maybe an immediate item that we get there. And then we'll be sort of recycling that back into our hand fairly regularly. Um, I don't think the idea in this is going to be to be getting all of the cards, but is to be getting a good set of cards. Some cards will then get tucked under the board in different areas when we use them as well. So got some more quests. See there's some of the um, sort of corrupted Again, always awesome artwork from this sort of line. Okay, so here we go. Here's our characters um, and their companions. So they come as, come as pairs. Um, we've got Vesna, spoilers for Rise of Hemis. Then we've got Olga and Changa, which definitely you'll recognize from uh, the Rusfiats. Some pirates, and then we've got some of the autumn cards that we'll be using. Okay, the autumn comes with five different levels of difficulty, um, so it's going to be quite interesting and available for a lot of replayability. Now, this would have been the Iron Cloud Edition without iron, and you'll see these all at the bottom here. These are all um, chunky metal pewter mechs. Um, I don't know whether it will stay in focus as we go up, but um, they are absolutely amazing. The quality on these, I must say. Quite tight in the bottom of the box, but now I have just noticed something. Obviously, we've got five factions here. There are seven factions in Scythe itself. Um, so... Will we get our other two mechs? And then if you look in here, this circle is the same as the circle that we've got there. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, watch this space potentially for any expansions. Now, obviously, Stonemaier does make a point of expansions in some of their games, um, and they are heavily, heavily expanded. So that will be quite interesting to see going forward. But that is everything there that you will find in Scythe Expeditions, the Ironclad Edition. Uh, quite a nice uh, box of Trump. Uh, quite a nice collection there. If you haven't already, please check out the videos on the channel. Give us a like and a subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Take care.